It's all about the art at St. Paul's Lutheran Church, the church using art to engage more people during the season of the Epiphany. Saida Abbas spoke to one of the artists from the church to find out more about this project, Epiphany Art. Saida? Jill and Sean, it's four artists with one mission in mind to add to the theme of the Epiphany season, which is how God reveals God's self to us. So one way is through spiritual gifts. One of those gifts is art. St. Paul's Lutheran Church asked four artists from their congregation if they would be willing to take one quarter of the project Epiphany Art. Having the pastor stand up front and talk at you isn't really conducive to everyone's way of learning. And so we try and incorporate different things. The four artists were given artistic freedom for each piece they were assigned. With the collaboration of the four different pieces, the project is an ode to the Holy Spirit. The stars you see here have the names of loved ones that have helped people get closer to to God. One thing that the church wants to focus on is how people learn because everyone learns in a different way. Until I, I found the parts that I thought would look best, I laid them down. If I liked it, I glued them. And then when it was complete, I just knew it was complete. One quarter of the artwork has been revealed every week. Only we have been allowed so far to see all four of the pieces joined together. My art area, it's full of random supplies. Uh, corks, buttons, there's all kinds of stuff laying around and it's wonderful to have saved something and then have such a beautiful use for it. Right now they're going into the third week in Epiphany. So far people attending have enjoyed trying to figure out what the big picture is and how it all fits together. On St. Paul's Facebook page, people from all over the country have shown a huge response to the art the last Sunday in February. They'll have all four pieces up for people attending jail. Thank you, Saida. Getting to